So did you know that if you just select any photos, you can just check your phone and then you can undo that just like this. In this video, I'll take about 10 of the amazing iPhone tips and tricks and hacks you probably didn't know about. If you are on any app and if you need to go all the way up, rather than going up like this, you can just tap the time button after that it's gonna go all the way up. Just know this is gonna work on any apps. Anytime if you need to see the emojis like it all the way to the end, other than going like this, you can just do this. You can just pull the uh, bottom bar and after that you can just scroll to all of them. Just know how quickly this is. I can go to the front and to the end within one second. Okay, did you know you can lock your hidden photos and also recently it deleted and the only way you can get this back by using Face ID or Touch ID. To get this is actually pretty simple. For that you can open up your setting, then go all there until you find photos. And after that, after that you're gonna get this option. It said that it's Face ID. So to turn it on, it's pretty simple. You just gonna turn it on and just like that. Next time if you want to see a recently deleted or already hidden photos, you have to use your Face ID or, or Touch ID. Okay, so okay, so okay, so if you're on Safari and if you need to take the picture of uh, multiple pages, other than yeah, other than doing one by one, you can just do this. You can just tap on the screenshot and tap on full page. After that, you can take the screenshot of the full page just like that. You can also save this as a PDF. Did you know that if we edit any videos, uh, for example, if we just edit this to a different color, and then after that, if we just tap on the three dot and tap on copy edits, and then go on a, in another picture, it doesn't matter. If after that, if we just tap on the three dot and click on paste edit, just like that, that image will be with the same error so you can do this with any image it doesn't matter for example if you just right here and if you tap on this photo and tap on paste look at that it's going to do the same effect did you know you can remove any background from any images without even downloading any apps so this is how it works for remove the background from this image i just hold down i just hold down the pictures and now i can just open up any app then I can just paste it just like that. And we just tap on it, look at this. The background of that image is gone. It didn't you can copy any images by using three finger by just pressing N. And after that, it, after that didn't you can just paste it by pinching out. I didn't know if you select multiple things other than click on the edit and select one by one. You can actually use a two finger to select multiple stuff. For example, if you need to select multiple stuff, look at this. I'm just gonna swipe down by using two finger and it's gonna select multiple stuff. Now that anytime if you're using the keyboard or and if you need to go between text, other than just going by by using your finger, you should just do this. Hold on the space button and this is gonna turn into trackpad and after that just go between text. This is gonna make your life so much easy. Did you know anytime if you need to delete something other than just deleting mm, the whole thing, you can just do this. You can just swipe left or right, and then it's gonna remove one by one. That is it for this quick video. If you enjoyed this video, well, make sure you drop like and don't forget to click the subscribe button. So if you want to see some setting that any change for your iPhone, make sure you click on this video. You know, next one is done. Peace out.